Chuck and mate. There we go. That's that's a, that's a nice nice first start. Would have been nice with a nice with a seventh night on C8, but oh well. Beggars can't be choosers, right? Okay, so we're gonna start with Temin Arena. I'm gonna take it very simple, you guys. Again, we're not gonna blitz this through like the speed run. I'm gonna try to explain all my ideas uh, for everything we're doing here. Okay. That might, and oh, I nosebleed too, right? So my opponent plays the center counter. Now, there are a couple couple ideas here. Probably if you're newer to the game, the safest way to play against it is to take the pawn and try to play for the fast development. It's very smooth, very free flowing with takes followed by knight, knight c3, almost regardless of what their second move is. So you attack the queen here. And now I'm gonna play d4. I've got, the, the essential ideas are you want it, you, first of all, you wanna open up the diagonal for the bishop, obviously. You want to develop your knight as well, but you really want to have the di diagonals for your bishop so you can like go bishop c4, maybe bishop f4, uh, maybe bishop d2 to angle towards the queen at some point down the road potentially. Um, but you want to play for the fast development here in the center. Thank you to Isigda for the tier one. Thank you, Alex, Alex Istiana for the tier one. Trocar for the gifted sub. Thanks so much, Trocar. Appreciate it. Thank you. But that, that's that's what I would say. Um, uh, that, that's what I would say though is that I think it's a tough situation. Okay, now I'm going to develop the bishop again. It really doesn't matter what you develop. The problem is you can't really develop this bishop. Now, I would say in beginner games, probably 90% plus, you put a bishop on g5 to pin a knight on f6. But here with the queen out early, you can't go there. So I'm going to develop the uh, develop the bishop, develop the knight, and then develop the bishop. Play knight f3. I'm going to castle next move. Um, okay, so so far, so so good. Queen d8, he, he removes the queen immediately. Probably should play for development a little bit quicker. But again, simple chess. We castle, and then we develop the bishop. What material was used for the nosebleed? Um, I was given um, some like some spongy, spongy like swabs the wrong word, but like a bit of spongy things. And then you put it there and you drip some, uh, you drip some, um, you drip some of the vegan stuff on it. And uh, and then you put it there. And then when you like breathe, then it starts coming straight down. <laughs> okay. Um, which by the way is why if you, if you if those of you who watched the nosebleed videos, I think I think Janet did it. Albert, I mean there were two Alberts who did it. Janet did it. Um, if you if you listen closely to our voices when we did it, our voices sound a little bit stuffy because we had it up there, so we're trying to talk and at the right moment. We breathe through the nose, and that's when it comes down. Um, okay, so there are a couple options here. Number one, I can the bishop here is good. Um, I've developed the bishop, the knights. Last piece is developed, or the bishop, the queen, and the rooks. So again, as I said, ninety five percent of beginner games, um, you're probably going to put a bishop on g five or g four to pin a knight. Very very useful. Yeah, Emru did it too. Yeah, em Emru's voice, I think, was also a little bit different as well. Um, <clears throat> go Queen E2, develop the Rooks to the center, all pieces in play. Go Bishop D3. I want to go Rook D1, Rook E1, and Knight E4 here. Don't go to beginner. I'm not. This is this. Uh, is the nosebleed video on YouTube? I don't think we put it on. No, no, because it's part of a. It's it's, it's in conjunction with Apple and, and for their upcoming uh, upcoming Apple TV show called Invasion. Okay, again. Put pieces in the center of the board. Rook D1, Rook E1. My opponent's lacking in development here. He's, he's pushed some pawns, but I have great development here in the center part of the board. Need a Marco for the two months. What variation of the French would you play to 1,700 players? White. Um, is white against the French? I honestly would say you should play the advanced French. I think the advanced might be the easiest way to do it. Is this like habits? Yeah. I mean, this game is going to be a textbook example. Very simple to play. Now, my opponent goes 96. Weird move off towards the rim. But there is a good point, which is he can bring the knight here and attack the bishop. And my bishop is really well placed. It's aiming towards the pawn on h7. Now, there are many ways that I can play here. Um, for example, I could take the knight, go queen e4, and threaten a checkmate. But I I'm going to play for the theme. So I'm going to play a3, stop knight before, keep this bishop here on d3. It's like the quarterback. It's, it's in the pocket. You have all the pieces right around it. I'm going to use it to create the checkmate later on. Okay, so let's take now. Let's go for checkmate and one with the battery. All right, so he stops the checkmate. Um, okay, let's play queen takes pawn, hit the rook in the corner, free pawn. Now I'm fully developed here, so now what I want to do is I want to look, is there anything under attack that I can capture free? Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to take another take another pawn here. This 368 plays better some, than some 2000 bullet. Yeah, he does. Now queen b6 <clears throat> is a move. Sorry, I have title Tuesday icon up. Um, one second, sorry. Okay, let's trade the queens here. <clears throat> okay. Um, now, the thing is, I'm up two pawns here. One, two, three, four, uh, four, five. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> so, I'm going to play knight d6 here, because now I'm going to look to trade pieces, because I have extra pawns. Okay, you guys. Um, 
Now, bishop d7 is a mistake because now this hangs the knight on a6, which I will gladly take. So, okay, so again, what do I want to do here? I have extra material. I have an extra bishop and two pawns, which already is pretty overwhelming. But one of the basics you want to do is you want to um, you want to trade off trade off the the minor pieces and the heavy pieces like the bishops and the rooks. My throat is sore. And, oh, my throat is fine. Throat is good. So I'm gonna trade the pieces again. You want to trade down as much as you can. I think Flem is spelled F H L E G M if I'm not mistaken. Although it's been a long time since I've had to really study study English. But I think it's P H L E G M. Flem is one of the nastiest English words. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, I think it's PH, right? It's P-H-L-E-G-M. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long time since I had to study English words. And honestly, my English has gotten a lot worse in the probably last decade than it ever used to be. But anyway, yeah. We're doing a view arena, you guys. We're keeping it very chill. Um, um, Vita just tweeted he's very hesitant to travel Latvia under these circumstances. Yeah, I mean, there are a couple things in play. Like I said, the, there, there are a couple things. Um, one of the hardest things, though, and this is this one re one thing that I think I've... I mean that you know if if you were to ask me what I um if you were to ask me one thing that I, you know people have made the joke that I should like I should like run for FIDE president or something and of course I would never do that but one thing that has always interested me um is maybe something like a players union or something like that um like I've, I've actually kind of wondered about that because you know the, the one thing the one thing that I would say is that um is is that uh is that I feel like the problem in the chess world is that you have a handful of people who do not, who basically don't have to worry, or, or they can sort of, they can sort of avoid, um, they can sort of avoid, uh, they, they, they can avoid, they can avoid dealing with feet. I'll, I'll, I'll be blunt. So if you look at some chess players, or players like myself, Fabiano, Magnus, obviously, there, there are a few of us where basically, um, even Wesley to some degree, I would say as well, we're kind of, we, 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 we can, um, we can go against Fide, and there, there's no real, no real, um, no real issue but the problem is for a lot of players the the, the risk of of um uh, and milsa talks get a very useful players union no that was not that was not a success um but yeah um what what i would say is there are a few top players who can but everybody else kind of in the process they they kind of don't um they don't they don't they can't really stand up to to certain things and so so that that's what i would say is uh, gary been there done that but gary's idea was too much structure towards the absolute top players i feel like the people who don't get the representation or the people who can't really say no to certain things are the people between about i would say honestly 25 25 25 50 to about 2700 around there um that's what i would say now again i want to trade off pieces here if i can yeah that, that's the thing like that that's the thing some people just can't say anything um and it does bother me because like that's the thing like it, it's just it's a bad situation like i i would tell you this i guarantee you that there's some people who who are very hesitant about this event or worried but like they feel like they can't say they can't say anything about it um but yeah that, that's the one thing i would say that i would that would interest me in the future specifically okay now i plays the e5 is trying to open it up again we're up a lot of material here so we're willing to trade down pieces let's just take the rook You won your first Tenno game ever. Awesome. Now, again, we're up a lot of material. So what do we do? We try to trade off as much as we can here. We're just trying to trade down everything. What would I do in their shoes? I mean, I don't have a... I, I mean, the one thing I would say, and this applies to whether I talk about uh, talk about politics or, um, you know, ch chess, like, chess politics, I guess, or politics or anything in general is like, you know, I don't have a set plan. So I'm not going to go out and act like, you know, I, I know better than everybody else because I don't because if you don't have a plan I frankly don't think you should you should necessarily be so quick to like absolutely criticize everything um which is why like when I say about an interest about a player it would interest me I don't have hard ideas though at the moment that's what I would say um and if you don't have hard ideas obviously um you know it's it's it's, it's not so easy so let's take and go knight f3 here okay so we're up a lot of material here what we want to do is we want to trade down pieces that's what we want to do but yeah, I, I feel like, I mean, I, I feel like there probably are a lot of players who are hesitant, but they can't really say anything. And if there's, you know, if people can lend their voice or have a little bit more gravitas and do things like this, I think it matters. Um, now, what I would say, the problem with the previous, the, the chess unions that they tried to have in the past, not Gary's union, because that was a, that was only to top chess players altogether. Um, but the one that, that, like, the ACP, for example, the problem with it was that they tried to do it in a way where financially they were supporting, supporting chess players. And I don't think you can financially necessarily support players unless you have huge sponsors so I, I thought like the whole model was a little bit a little bit flawed for that one okay let's take 
Have I ever played Yasser Sarawan? Yes, I played Yasser Sarawan in the um, United States Chess Championship in 2003, you guys. I played Yasser in 2003, way back in the old days, you guys. Nearly um, near 18 years ago, that's crazy. This guy's played great, by the way. For 300, he's played a great game. And what we want to do is we want to create a checkmate. So first things first, let's stabilize. Let's go check. We trade the rooks, of course. Go here and now we run the pawns. Thank you, Chess Weave, uh, for the 25 months great Grunfeld game. Thank you. But yeah, I mean, I, like Gary's Union was only about top players and trying to have like a separate, separate organization altogether that had very little to do with um was running alongside Fide. Uh, that was just more about trying to have um. Instructive endgame. Okay. Oh, no. I want King G7. Oh, I blundered a knight away. Oh, well. Okay. I hung one of my knights, unfortunately. Okay, chat, let's instructly show you how to do a checkmate with six horses. Exactly. He might get a stalemate, though. I, I, I will say this. There is a chance. Thank you to Hip Gecko for the five months. Thank you so much to Hip Gecko. Appreciate it. I could have had seven knights. Very sad. Instructive. Seven knights. Yeah, true. Um, No seven knights checkmate today. Not, not likely. Thank you to Slim MG for the 18 months. Thank you so much to Slim MG. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um... Good morning to you too, Slim MG. Hope you're doing well. Hope you guys are having a fantastic morning wherever you are in the wide world. Arena Kings will be starting at um a little bit later. Okay, let's go here. We cut off all the squares. King can't get in. Let's go here. Okay, I think I should bring my knights closer. Let's go here. Very instructive, yeah. Let's go here. Okay, King is in the box. Um, go check. Oh, wait, no, I got to do this the other way. Do it without your King yet. Checking me. There we go. That, that's a, that's a nice nice first start. Would have been nice with a nice with the seventh night on C8, but oh well. Beggars can't be choosers, right? Oh, that was a great game. Uh, by the way, Adarsh uh, Shatish, you're, you, who's in chat, says, "Did you play well? You played great. If your rating is actually 300, that was a fantastic game. I mean, what I would say is there were blunders, but you kept the blunders low enough. Like you hung a couple of pawns and you hung one knight. Those are really the only blunders you made in the game. And if you at that level, you you make that few mistakes." you're probably going to improve very quickly because those are very minor mistakes. Very, very good, by the way. Very, very good. Extremely good.